right guys, for this episode, I'll be joined by a very special guest. She's the former editor-in-chief of Appetite Magazine and she comes from a family best known for being experts in the culinary industry, Nina Dazapuyan. Hi, Nina! Hi, Bambi! Hi, welcome to Happy Go Bambi! Thank you, Bambi, for inviting me here in your beautiful kitchen. Yes, I'm so excited to show you this recipe. Today, we'll be cooking a very simple but very delicious recipe called fried vermicelli with shrimp and tinapa lai. Mmm, sounds yes. so yummy. It is, it is. But it uses only really easily available ingredients mm -hmm. that you can find in your regular supermarket and in your neighborhood palenque. Mmm, let's make it, Tita! Yes, let's go! First, we have to heat up the oil. Madali lang naman, magigisa-gisa tayo for some cooking oil. In the meantime, while we're waiting for the oil to get hot, maybe we can season the shrimp. So we'll season it with salt. I put the shrimp on a plate para nakaspread lahat siya, para when you season, it's evenly seasoned. Ah, nice tip. But did I notice that you deveined your shrimp? So what is yes. the importance of deveining shrimp? Okay, to me, deveining is really a matter of preference. Some people like to devein, some people don't mind the vein being there. But for me, mas gusto ko medyo naka-open yung shrimp ng konti para manuot yung sauce. Sabi nila parang dirt daw talaga, oh, that oh, black eh. one, no? Yes. Oh, so it's up to you if you have the time. No, some people don't mind, no? So here we are, we're sautéing the garlic. Did you know that sauté means to jump in French? To jump? Yes, that's why we're making the ingredients jump around. Ah, buti hindi tao. <laughs> Medyo yung bawang natin, medyo na mumula-mula na. We can add the seasoned shrimps. There you go. We don't have to brown the garlic, ha? I don't want to brown the garlic. You save the shells and the head of the shrimps. Kasi nandun yung lasa, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yes, I made the shrimp broth using the heads and the shells of the shrimps. So what you do with the heads and the shells, you dry toast it first if you have time, or you can just put it directly uh, in a pot and add Water. And then yes. simmer until maluto na yung shells. Mm -hmm. And then and super strain. flavorful. Na super yun. malasa. Sayang. No, don't throw it out kasi super sayang exactly. talaga kasi ang sarap ng broth pagka ginawa okay. nyo, pagka kinulo nyo siya. Correct. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Ganda naman ng assistant ko. <laughs> thank you. Always willing to assist you po. Oh, thank you, thank you. How much oil? Just another tablespoon. There you go. Yes. So, and then when that's hot, we'll saute naman the onions. Sibuyas. Diba? Some people like white, some people like red. Ikaw, anong mas type mo? Ako white po. Ako Parang din. mas uh, maganda yung lasa niya. And uh -oh. kapag ka nasaute siya long enough, it's sweeter. Yes, I like that. That's why I want to leave it to caramelize a little bit. Yes. And then after this, we're going to add the ginger. So for those who are new in cooking, we put ginger because... Yes, pagpatanggal ng langsa, yes, di ba? Yes, pagpatanggal langsa. Oo. Oh, oh. That's why I cut it into rounds para madali siyang ma-fish out mamaya. So ito po yung pangalawang piga na sinasabi nila sa niyog. So yun po ang coconut milk. So ang coconut milk is more for simmering. And the coconut cream naman po? That's for finishing. Kasi ang coconut cream is unang piga. Ito yung pangalawang piga. Milk in a can. So we need two cans for this. So do you have a preference? Is um, canned or fresh? Um, you know, I use both eh. It's up to them, whatever is convenient. But uh, you'll still get a good uh, line. And then we add the shrimp broth na. Ah, here. So nandiyan yung essence mm. ng Hikpon, no? Yes, Pinakulo yes. natin dyan. Sarap niya. May excite na ako. Parang mabango na dito, guys, kung di nyo lang alam. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to add the lemongrass. I'd like to poke, poke it a little bit. So, itong um, lemongrass, usually they use the bulb only, di ba? That usually, when in cooking, you know that, that we use only the lower part. But yeah, I like to put the whole lemongrass because, of course, it's not gonna fit in our pan, so I'm going to make a knot out of it. Tita, bago po nyo po gawin yan, mag-isip po muna kayo ng kagalit nyo. Yan. <laughs> 
Gagawin niyo po ko ako yan basta ano eh. Ano no? Gagawin niyo po ko kayo sa. Para mabilis. <laughs> yan, pupukin natin. Yan. Oh, may galit po yan. Wala, wala, wala. <laughs> So, itong tanglad, iinanot lang natin siya kasi ilalagay natin siya dyan. So, can you imagine? This is another layer of flavor now. There you go. Ayan. So, kumukulo-kulo na siya. There you go. So, tita, ano pong pampaalat natin? Ayan. We will put sauteed bagoong. Hey, diba? here. Ayan. Bagyan na natin siya. Can you imagine the flavors? Gusta and bagoong. Sarap. <laughs> Pinoy na Pinoy, no? And then now it's time to put the gabi leaves. And I'm just going to put about three cups, no? The dried gabi leaves are going to absorb all the flavor. We have to leave this for about 45 minutes to an hour to simmer. So you can lower the heat and then we will just leave this to simmer. So yan, Bambi, you can see the bag. Yan. Talagang nag reduce na siya. Ano po next step? Next, natin lagyan natin ng tinapa. Para may smoky flavor. At saka may protein, di ba? Extra protein. It's a very balanced meal. Kasi may gulay ka na, may fried vermicelli ka pa, at may fish and shrimp. So, Tita, some of you might not know, but si Tita here is the daughter of the culinary legend, Nora Daza. So, can you tell us, po, like, um, growing up, syempre, no? what are the tips and the things from the kitchen tips that you got from your mom? Well, you know what? She just told me to practice because practice makes perfect. Practice, di ba? The more you cook, the more you become expert at what you do. And to use your palate, if it tastes good to you, then serve it. Simple. Nice word. So we have here salt, patis, sugar. Some people like they're lying a little on the sweet side, but me, I'm just using it to balance it out. So, and then... We will add now the sili. Sili! Okay, I'm not really fond of this, Tita. So, pwede po bang kainin ang laing ng mga taong hindi mahilig sa maangang? Pwede, pwede. So, may trick po yan ako? Oo, may trick. So, tanggalin lang natin yung seeds, di ba? Pero gusto ko pa rin na may sili. Scrape out. This way, hindi po siya ganun kaanghang. Hindi siya maanghang kasi yung anghang nasa seeds. Lagay lang natin silang mga sili. We will add the kakang gata, which is the unang piga. Huh? Ano po tawang? Unang piga. Kakawa? Ka kakang gata. Ano <laughs> 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 po yan? Kakang gata? Yes. Oh, first time ko na rinig ano yun. Yes. Ang cute po naman tumawa. <laughs> ano pa po? <laughs> Ayan. Sinaw mukha siyang mas saucy pa. But we will leave that to simmer. Okay, so next, Bambi, we're going to fry the Sapporo Long Cow Vermicelli. What I want is I like to stretch out the bundle para yung oil mag-penetrate dun sa ating Sapporo Long Cow Vermicelli. Para crispy siya, parang shook, shook. Gusto mo mag-stretch? Exercise ba ito? Exercise game! Di ba masaya? Sipin ko yung mga nang aapis sa akin ng bata ako. Ayan po! Ayan. Sige, sige. Fry na natin. Mabilis lang siya eh. Ayan, di ba? And then, balik na rin natin yung para maluto yung kabila. There you go. And you can feel it expanding, no? Okay, there. It's done. Yes! That fast. That fast. Why did you choose to use Sapporo Loco Vermicelli for your dish? Because I like that it's sturdy and it's it crisps up nicely when you fry it. Yeah. So para magkaroon din ng different textures siguro na. Yes, exactly, exactly that. So and then now we transfer it to our serving plate. We can scrunch up the noodles a little bit. Maganda may kanting height. We put our shrimp and tinapala ing sauce crunchy noodles on saucy Pinoy dishes. And then we can top it now with the shrimps. So you remember the shrimps are also flavorful now because diba, we sauteed it earlier with salt and pepper and garlic. So malasa na siya on its own. Yes. There you go. And then we put a sili for garnish. 
here's our finished fried vermicelli with shrimp and tenapal laing. Thank you so much, Tita Nina, oh, for guesting welcome. and sharing your recipe. Thank you, Bambi, for having me here. If you have recipe requests that you want me to try, do let me know in the comments below. And if you love this dish, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I post. See you on my next video! Bye! Happy Go Bye!